It's the future of lightning fast internet. 5G is already on its way across Australia. So, how will it change the way we use our mobile phones and home internet? 5G is the future of mobile technology and it's turbocharging what you can expect to see on your phones. I'm super excited to see how it all works out. It just makes it faster. So the response time between when you ask for something to happen and when it happens is remarkably faster. 5G is set to change how we connect our mobile phones and devices to the internet, improving everything from download times to video calls. 5G is simply the next generation mobile network. Every, every 10 years it increases, it gets faster, it gets more efficient. Much like 3G and the current 4G network, soon there will be 5G right around Australia, with the main telcos expanding their coverage, bringing the future into the now for families. The internet's been coming in and out while they've been doing the classes and some classes they actually haven't been able to do. And the workplace. And even things like, uh, like medical procedures, you know, being able to do surgeries by distance, whether it's, you know, people being able to stream the video a little bit better or even using medi robots and things like that. But with new technology comes controversy with some conspiracy theorists even linking the 5G rollout to the coronavirus leading to the torching of phone towers in Australia and the UK. Bernie, 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 Bernie. 5G tower. And the government to defend the network. It's alarmist, uh, it creates unnecessary concern in the community and it is utterly baseless. Communications Minister Paul Fletcher is fighting back. There is uh, extensive evidence from research over many years that there are no adverse health effects from mobile phone networks. Tech expert Trevor Long. I've been to Telstra's 5G test centre on the Gold Coast and we tested the electromagnetic energy coming from two-way radios, baby monitors, 5G, 4G and microwaves. Baby monitors were the worst. Telstra is committing $500 million to fast-track its network. Right across Australia, more and more suburbs are becoming connected. In Queensland, 33 Brisbane areas like Milton, Woolawin, Sunnybank and Logan are about to be connected. In Sydney, most of the CBD is already connected to the 5G network with parts of Double Bay, Parramatta and Chatswood about to come online. While in Melbourne, the CBD is also 5G connected with more and more outer suburbs about to be added to the network. The number of 5G sites for Optus is also increasing across capital cities. Our internet is used from morning till before we go to bed at night. Hazel Barbier runs a busy family home with three kids all on devices working from home. It's put their NBN under pressure. The internet's been coming in and out while they've been doing the classes and some classes they actually haven't been able to do. For the girls' dance classes, it's been a tiring process. We've been doing them on Zoom and they keep cutting in and out so we miss pieces of what we're meant to do. But that's one thing that could change when 5G rolls out. Our area is actually one of the next areas to get 5G and I'm super excited to see how it all works out. At the moment, generally from 4G, uh, it might travel at 60 milliseconds, whereas with 5G, we're looking more at like one millisecond. To take advantage of the improved speed, you will need to upgrade to a 5G capable device and a plan that includes the new network. Some Telstra and Optus plans are offering a free trial before charges kick in. Editor of Gizmodo, Tegan Jones. At the moment, there is only a handful of devices in Australia that can actually use 5G. Most of them are Samsung, but we do have some from Oppo and LG as well. Apple's newest iPhone to be released at the end of the year is rumoured to be 5G capable. But if you can't upgrade just yet, you will still see some benefit. If uh, you don't get 5G straight away, that's going to be okay as well. Um, the cool thing about all of the towers getting upgraded is that 4G will also get a little bit of bump in speed and latency as well. And to see if your suburb is among the next to get 5G, you can just head to our website.